Hey guys, Drew and Hannah here. We wanted to bring to your attention that we have a Patreon page. If you guys are interested in getting some exclusive content as well as a few free stuff, look up our Patreon page. You'll find a link in the description below. That tastes like magic. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Witchards. Witchard, Witchards. <laughs> Witchards. Witches. One more time. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Witches, wizards, and muggles alike, we want to welcome you back to another edition. And today we have an owl post that just arrived. I'm Drew. I'm Hannah. And we are going to unbox Geek Gear. Now, this just arrived today, and whenever we were discussing this channel, um, I told Hannah that she was going to have to wait on opening these things until we could actually shoot a video, and I kind of almost got a crying child whenever I told her that, because she didn't understand that I was going to just make her wait just an hour or so. <laughs> so, um, this is the January box. Unfortunately, the December box has not yet arrived. Um, <laughs> So we'll bring that to you whenever we do get it. I know that my Accio box is also coming. So um, this was not sent to us. We actually paid for this subscription, but all of our opinions are our own. So let's get hey, to wrapping. Before we start, oh. we got to tell them what wands we have. Oh, that's right. See, that's why I have a partner in crime right here. So what wand are you using? So I am using Jenny Weasley's wand. Did you get that for Christmas? Yes. I actually found a lot of her wands secondhand, and we'll probably do a video on my Facebook Marketplace haul that I got for her Christmas stuff. Do you like that wand? I really like it because it's interactive and like how light it is and all these like twisty turnies and these little spikes here. I think it's really cool. Yeah, it is a very, very feminine looking wand because it's, it's just got those curves and, and twists. A lot of the carvings, like she said, the little spikies in the middle. But it's a very feminine looking wand. I, I like that one. I thought that was a good fit for you. Uh, I am using the Elder Wand, Albus, as well as Grindelwald. Um, this one is actually the Albus version. I know that they sell one for Grindelwald, but um, this one is for Albus Dumbledore. And I, I'm really liking how they um, incorporated a lot of the detail, especially with the indentations all along the bottom. Um, to make it look like actual wood along with the runes in the center. So uh, this was Hannah's first wand. This was an interactive wand that I actually purchased from a friend of mine that I worked with who goes to Universal every year. And she uh, agreed to pick up one of these things for me. So um, this was Hannah's very, very, very first wand. All right, you ready to unbox? Yes, I've been waiting so long for even one box. I don't even care what month it is. All right, well, let me get the wrapper off for you. Bye. Little geek gear insignia. Yeah. You want to give him a cheeky peek, as Cherry calls it? Okay. Look in it. You guys get the first peek. I don't know. <laughs> All right. I see a lot of schnigglies or wiggly worms, whatever you want to call it. I see a lot of potions. All right, let's start one at a time. We got a, we got a shirt, it looks like. And heat gear, it looks like, I think they put shirts in just about every box. Oh, potions and subtle science. Sub and, subtle. Yeah, so I would, subtle, toll, subtle. I can't. Subtle science and exact art. So potions, a subtle science and exact art. Oh. It looks like there's a Felix Felices bottle right there on the front. So that's pretty cool, isn't it? Uh huh, I love that. I'm gonna be wearing that a lot. I love potions. Let's go to the next. I'm trying to enjoy the moment. It's hard to enjoy the moment when there's rapid <laughs> There's a bunch of tape. <laughs> she won't let me help her, except cutting tape. It's mine. There we go. <gasps> that looks like a coffee mug. I love coffee and I love this mug. <laughs> First year students travel across the big black lake to Hogwarts. Ooh. It uh, looks like a first year theme, possibly, with this going on. I love this mug! Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like the black interior of it, too. Mm -hmm. And it's it's an enamel, it looks like, too, so don't drop this. This will break. <laughs> it's really cool, though. Oh, this looks like some kind of banner. The colors are look like they're probably like all the houses. Like... Why couldn't it be follow the butterflies? 
<laughs> That's a good one. And as you know, that is a Ron quote. That is from Chamber of Secrets. This might just be like a normal potion box because it's not first year anymore. This is from yeah, second year. Yeah, that's true. Year. That's from the that's from second year. I saw the butterflies and I was like, it has to it has to be wrong. <laughs> this is made out of canvas material too, so that'll hold up a long time. It's got a wooden dowel through the top and tied off with a piece of twine for a nice cute little banner. And it's got all the house colors on the side. You see that? Yeah. That's I said this this has all the colors on it. Yeah. The Hogwarts. So that's pretty cool. That'll go good with the other uh, little bandit pennant pennant that you have hanging up there. And I also have the Chudley Cannons. Um... Hey, this might be for me. No, it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> You're a Hufflepuff. What are you going to do with this? I like all the houses. It's a Gryffindor coin. So it looks like it's got the lion with... The sword on the back. Sword on the back. It says, it says Gryffindor. What else does it say? No, it actually says courage. Oh, courage? Okay. And what does that say? Bravery. Courage and bravery. Traits of Gryffindor. Courage and bravery. It's mine. So it's about the size of probably a silver dollar. Very cool. I like the... Looks like maybe hard enamel, possibly. That's really cool. I like that. All right. Next up. <laughs> what is it? Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's like... It's what the weird girl wrote on the... The, 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 the thing, the door to the Hogwarts Express whenever Ron and Harry were sitting in it and she came up and wrote it on and then Hermione was coming to sit and then she saw it and oh then she gosh, walked Oh my gosh, she's going to ramble for a little while, I think. Sorry. This <laughs> is the pin that resembles the uh, Ron and Lavender um, heart that she breathed on the window in the Hogwarts Express. She's <sighs> and it also has like Lavender. Like oh yeah, it's got lavender in the background too. Like the actual plant lavender in the background. So this looks like um, maybe a soft enamel pen. Let me see. I really like the marble. Yeah, this one is a soft enamel pen. It's got little ridges in it. Um, but it's a bright teal color. It says R plus L. It's got the little X's down below and then the arrow that she drew in there and it's a double clutch pin it looks like. It's got two clasps in the back. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that. Boys uh -oh. Wizard's Magic Original Chocolate. Please be chocolate, please be chocolate. We're trying not to tear this box. <laughs> Ooh, chocolate. I think it is. Here, let me Can go. we try a piece? Yep. We don't need to try it right now. But they want to see. We gotta tell them what it tastes like. All right. You and wanna also, try it? Let's try it. And also because I just wanna have some chocolate. <laughs> this looks like dark chocolate, maybe. Okay, at the same time. Okay. That tastes like magic. That wasn't too bad. It's a little bland for my taste, mm, but I know that the candy that they make in England is a little less sugar than what we like. <laughs> Hannah's liking it, but you know, for my taste, I need more sugar. I love maybe, it. Maybe that's my problem. <laughs> I love it. But yeah, it says Wizard's Magic Original Chocolate, 100% recyclable, high fiber, gluten-free, only 1% sugar, vegan friendly. But wow. now I won't be able to fit this back in, in the box. Oh God. <laughs> Probably gonna be gone. Hey, don't back. spoil your dinner now. Oh. Looks like there might be a print. There we go. It's on cardboard too, so it, it'll be. Oh, I have some. Uh oh. That is going above Hannah's my Hannah's favorite magical creature. Second favorite. Se oh, that's right. She, she likes the augury too. If you noticed that from our last video, leave a link to that. It's going to be up here somewhere. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is one of her favorite magical creatures, which is the Thestral. It's a really cool print. Almost watercolorish, in a way, to me. But it's got a sepia tone in the background. Uh, it's just a side profile of the Thestral. You can even tell the worn wings on the sides. So, yeah, that's really nice. This, I think they did a really good job. This person who painted this is really good. Okay, here is the cheat sheet. It says, hello there, you magical creatures, and massive thank you from all of us here at Geek Gear for purchasing the Geek Gear Wizardry Box. It is our hope that these items we have designed and carefully packed into your box this month bring you some joy and magic to your door. 
Thank you for being a part of our ever-growing family, and we hope you love the item as much as we love you. Oh, they love you. Yay. <laughs> All right, so number one was the potions t-shirt. That was the very first thing that you actually brought out of the box. That mm -hmm. was really cool. Number two was license and exclusive Thestral print. Very nice. Um, next was follow the butterflies pin flag. Yeah, we which got was that. Funny. Uh, next was the courageous lion coin, which was the Gryffindor coin right there. Um, number five was license and exclusive Hogwarts Black Lake mug. That that I really like. It's mine. Um, number six is the ex exclusive Wizards chocolate edible candy bar, as opposed to the unedible candy bars. I don't like the unedible the candy bars. <laughs> they taste like wax for some reason. All right, number seven was the exclusive monthly pin L and R heart pin. So looks like we got to everything. There is not a charm. So I'm guessing because this is January and we're starting a brand new year. They're kind of doing some brand new things. There used to be some charm bracelets in, or charms for charm bracelet in every box, but I guess they stopped that. So out of these things, what is your most favorite, your number one favorite? So the Thestral print, that's probably your favorite? Yes, this is my first favorite. This is my second favorite, and the chocolate is my third favorite. What would be your least likely thing that you what things you like the least probably um probably the banner yeah yeah you can only hang that so many places i'm more into artwork than banners yeah so probably my favorite uh would have to be that coffee mug excuse me let me get over here <laughs> it'd probably have to be this coffee mug um i am a big coffee drinker and i really like um uh, the 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 picture-esque scene in um, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone or Sorcerer's Stone where all the first years are just kind of floating up to Hogwarts. I thought that was a really cool scene, one of my favorites. And you know, this mug just kind of portrays that whole thing. So that was cool. Um, probably my least favorite would be the chocolate to me. I mean, that's just not my, not my taste. And once you eat it, it's gone. So. I, I do like the fact that they made a almost like a keepsake box or collectible box. It's upside down. Uh, but you can make like an ornament or something out of this or display it on your shelves if you want to. So um, kudos on them for doing that. I, I, I like the fact that they made it kind of a, a keepsake chocolate bar, even though there's not gonna be you know, like any chocolate in here. If uh, you guys have any comments, tips, or suggestions that you guys want to leave, or just want to say hello to the new channel, be sure and drop them down below. Check out our past videos that you will find on this screen, and I guess we will see you later. So from Drew and Hannah, we want to wish you guys well, and we'll see you next time. And remember, stay magical.